Yo, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to feel your way into the wish fulfilled. How to feel what you want into reality. And then we'll got our way. Last week I talked about how to enter a state, right? Any state you desire. And I shared the perfect analogy that Neville gave answering the common question of how often you got to be in the state. Which is what a lot of people ask me. So if you missed that video, then I suggest you go check it out. Anyway, listen to what Neville promises. He says that if you remain faithful to the state of consciousness, the one you desire, what is seen only in your imagination will objectify itself in your world. But is that really true? Because I've heard people complain and say things like, I imagine, I felt it real, or I prayed and meditated for freaking 30 minutes, but still, nothing. What's up with that? Here's what's up. Let me ask you, how long should you assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled? How long should you persist in it? And well, you're going to get different answers from different people, sometimes making things more complicated than they really need to be because it sounds more spiritual. But here's Neville's answer. Simple. Ready? You assume the feeling and you persist in it until it feels natural. Until it feels natural. But how the heck does that happen? Listen, you got to get this. It's the frequency, not the length of time, that makes it natural. I'll say it again. It's the frequency not the length of time that makes it natural. You see, in order for your assumption to be effective, he says, it can't be a single isolated act. Rather, it must be a maintained attitude of the wish fulfilled. It's got to be habitual, and this may take some practice. For instance, Neville says that after you've assumed the feeling of the wish fulfilled, don't close the experience as you would a book, but carry it around like a fragrant odor. In other words, it's not about feeling it real for a few seconds or even several minutes. Shoot, you don't even got to be sitting there in your home for hours, closing your eyes and crossing your legs, trying to hold the state. Nah, dude, you got life to live. You know what I'm saying? You got things to do, places to go to. That's why Neville says to carry it with you, to let it remain in the atmosphere like a fragrant odor, where you're living from it, from the state, feeling its reality as often as possible. That's the secret to mastering your fate, you guys. That's the secret of success. And look, if you fall out of the state you're in, okay, no big deal. Just get right back into it. No need to beat yourself up. Remember, it's the frequency, not the length of time, that'll make your assumption natural. It'll gain momentum, Neville says. That'll be hard to break. So when you're chilling in line at the supermarket, get into the state. When you're in the bathroom taking a shower, get into the state. When you're walking your dog or driving your car, Get into the state. Frequency, folks. It's the frequency. And just watch. Eventually, your desire will be objectified. Boom. That's it. Keeping this one short and sweet. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And if you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.